Mega prebiotic is a precision prebiotic. And so to understand what we mean by precision prebiotic, I have to explain a little bit about the science of the microbiome and what we've learned over the last few years. So it seems that, you know, even though the microbiome is a very unique, individualized space in the human body, and it's different from person to person, there are some patterns that we notice in a healthy digestive tract versus the patterns that we, we notice in an unhealthy digestive tract. And there's certain species of bacteria that are, are predominant in a healthy uh, digestive tract and are missing or in low quantities in, in unhealthy digestive tracts or in disease states. And so, so, you know, a long time ago when the whole idea of prebiotics first came into the market, um, we were using things like Jerusalem artichokes and inulin, and although these products do fit the category of being a prebiotic, um, they were indiscriminate in the types of bacteria and yeast that they fed. So uh, whatever imbalance you may have been expressing, all of those bacteria, the good and the bad, and all the yeast, or the good and the bad, would eat uh, the prebiotic. And a lot of times with a lot of those patients, you'd see a lot of bloating, uh, especially in patients that had bacterial overgrowth of their small intestines. So the next generation of prebiotics are more specific in that they only feed the good bacterias. And so the precision nature of mega prebiotic is the specific types of prebiotics that are used that we know through research support the growth of bifidobacteria, fecal and bacterium, uh, acromensia, and other beneficial bacteria that, that we know um, are hallmarks of healthy digestive tracts and are missing in unhealthy digestive tracts. And so the, the different strains, or the different uh, prebiotics that you'll see that make up mega prebiotic are two different forms of, of fructoligosaccharides uh, from kiwi fruit um, and a galactoligosaccharide and a xyloligosaccharide. And each one of them selectively feeds different types of beneficial bacteria. Collectively, the combination of, of the, the four prebiotics in the formula um, will be a great adjunct for patients with inflammatory bowel disease, uh, patients with lots of bloating and irritable bowel type symptoms. Um, really going to be good for patients with uh, kind of chronic skin conditions. Um, there's been a lot of good data showing that increasing these numbers of good bacteria uh, improves certain uh, atopic dermatitis and eczema type conditions. And so in those types of patients, there would be a, a good uh, use of the product in, in, in different skin conditions. Um, and, and what you're, you're missing out on uh, from the earlier forms of, of the prebiotics is some of the distress, some of the excess bloating and gas that you saw when you took the inulins and the, and the Jerusalem artichokes. That, that is no longer part of this. And the reason is because of the precision, precision nature of the prebiotic.